Happy Saturday, friends. I hope that you guys have had a great week. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Erica and welcome to Italian Chocolate Homestead. This morning, I'm getting the day started right by making a cup of coffee. How many of you are like me and it is the first thing you have to do as soon as you get up in the morning is make sure that you've got that hot bean water ready to go. Today, I am starting to do some early fall decorating. I know it sounds crazy because it's the middle of August, but I am a college educator, an administrator, and so fall starts for me technically on August 21st, and so I want to get my house to reflect what's happening in my career. And so we are gonna go through some amazing fall decor that I've been collecting since last year and some new items that I've purchased this year. And we are going to um, get things ready and set around the house so that things start feeling a little more like fall. I haven't mentioned before now, I'm a huge Golden Girls fan. So coffee on the weekend always tastes best out of my Stay Golden mug. Hooking it up with a little Jordan Skinny Syrup and some of my favorite creamer. Let's get started. Huge shout out to the husband for helping me bring all of these items from the basement up to the main level of the house last night so that I could get ready to shoot this video today. This is what I consider to be my early fall decor. I've been collecting these items since after fall shopping last year and a few items that I've purchased this year. So let's get started. First is this cute little hello fall sign. It is a metal and wood sign. This came from Michael's at the end of the fall season last year, as you can see, it was $12.99. I paid 75% off along with this fall market sign. I love the cute little truck and the dog. I'm a sucker for anything with dogs because I have a dog. Um, this was from Michaels as well, $9.99, 75% off. So these were great little finds at the end of the season. Let's move now to florals. These are some great dried florals that I actually found at the end of the season last year from Kirkland's. And I've just had these wrapped in that brown paper in a storage container since last year, and they've done great. These were $12.99 a bunch, and they were on sale for 65% off. These next little hops plants are so sweet. I love the multicolor, the orange, the brown, the yellow. $2.99 from Hobby Lobby this year, and Hobby Lobby is already 40% off. And these purple colored um, eucalyptus style, I guess, plants as well, $2.99, 40% off already at Hobby Lobby. In the back here, I'm moving on to some great long stems from Hearth and Hand by Magnolia from their Target line. This is the super tall 36 inch Geophacilia plant. Love these stems. Oh my gosh, $5.99 each these were. Um, they're not currently on sale, but I really thought the price was really great for the amount of plant you get. Again, here's some more yellow hops plants that I picked up also from the Hearth and Hand line at Target. And these, I believe, yep, were $4.99 each. Moving right along to some textiles. First are these cute little copper salt and pepper shakers. I picked these up last season from Hobby Lobby, $14.99, but they were 66% off, I believe, at the time that I purchased them. My sister, niece, and I love to go every year to a show called Vintage Market Days, and these cute little books came from that show. Uh, they're actually classic novels. It's a copy of Tale of Two Cities and then a copy of Jane Eyre, but they have the same kind of binding, the same coloring. I love that brownish red color um, for this season. As you can see, they're really old and the pages are starting to turn, which is really, really pretty. I think through the years, they'll look even nicer. Nicer. I believe that I paid $11 for each one of those books. 
Next is this cute little tray. It almost reminds me of a mushroom a little bit, but I love the coloring on it and the style. Uh, $18.99, this came from Hobby Lobby, 40% off this year in their fall decor. Next, I have these great little stainless steel trays that also came from that Vintage Market Day show. They were $5 each, as you can see, it says that they were made in Japan. So I'm not really sure how vintage, quote unquote, they were, but I thought they were really pretty and they're starting to turn colors as well. The wonderful glasses. I'm sure you guys have seen other influencers post these in their fall hauls. These are from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous. $8.99 a glass. I bought six of them and they are currently 40% off. So I think they are a great deal. Moving right along now to some pottery, uh, these vases. These two little ivory and blue vases came from Kirkland's. I saw these online and I could not pass them up. They are phenomenal. Do you guys see this? Like the crackling detail and kind of the browning in the pottery. I love this look. They look super old even though they are brand new. The smaller vase as you can see here was $29.99. The larger vase there in the back I believe was $34.99. I had some K-Club dollars um, and then also um, a coupon so I got the big vase for 50% off and then the smaller vase I got $10 off of its price using my K Club dollars. Next are these really sweet fall napkins from Hobby Lobby as well. A pack of four for $14.99 but I bought them last season when they were 66% off so I purchased two packs. Um, and I love that they're just simple, but really, really great for the season. I also grabbed a bunch of chargers last year from Hobby Lobby during their post fall sale. I got these copper colored ones and then I also have some brownish gold ones that I'll be using for Christmas. These were $3.99 each, you guys, at 66% off. Like phenomenal deal that I got on those chargers. I probably should have bought more. Keeping in line with all of the copper items, um, I did also pick up this napkin holder. I'm generally not a person that displays napkins, but I kind of couldn't pass it up. $12.99, 66% off. Um, and I'll show you a little bit later in this video how I styled it. These Acadia wood coasters are so phenomenal. Look at this dot detailing on the edge of these. They are so pretty. They were $20 for a set of four, but remember they were 66% off at the end of the season last year. It was a great deal and I grabbed two stacks. Next, I have some oak wood um, vases here. These came from Kirkland's Home, $19.99. Um, I actually purchased these last year, I believe, uh, but they were 50% off at the time that I bought them. I know I said this was a pre-fall haul and then here I am with pumpkins, but you know, meet me where I am. Uh, first of all, what you'll never see in my house is um, orange pumpkins or colored pumpkins. I am more about the aesthetic of the pumpkin than the color. So these great little like kind of meshy wood style or whatever material they are, braided material from Target. They came in the dollar spot. They were $5 each last year. Um, I love this beautiful sweater style pumpkin. These were big last year. As you can see, $9.99, I believe. <laughs> I got this, sorry for dropping it. I believe I got this actually from um, uh, Ross maybe, uh, or maybe it was, um, TJ Maxx, one of the two of those, um, but $9.99, and I believe they were 50% off or 60% off because it was the end of the season. I love this cute little pumpkin as well, another sweater style material. It's got kind of that gold leafing. This one was like $4.99 or $5.99, I believe, and then it was like 50 or 60% off. Um, these pretty black pumpkins came from Kirkland's at the end of the last season. Um, I love black and white, you guys. So anything aesthetic that I can pull out that's seasonally appropriate, but not like bright yellow or orange or green, uh, I did it. So these two cute little 
pumpkins both came from uh, Kirkland's. I believe one was $12.99, the other one was $14.99. But again, they were like 50 or 60% off because it was the end of the season. Actually, this year from Hobby Lobby, I had been looking for over a year for one of these Hello Fall signs. I had seen it on Pinterest and pinned it and was like, I'm going to find one. Finally found one at um, Hobby Lobby this year. Uh, this was $39.99, but it was 40% off, so I felt like it was totally worth the purchase. This great little runner actually came from a company called Decor Steals. And you're going to hear me talk about Decor Steals a ton and a bunch of other videos that I have, but I've ordered a lot of their uh, boxes. Um, so they sell items together for a singular price in a box, and this runner was part of that box. I love a textile that is um, has a bunch of different like looks or materials but singular color and so this is one of the reasons I was very much attracted to this runner it's got some lovely veining in it and you see the little pom-poms on the edge I just think it's so pretty but I love that there's not any other color except for that creamy off white next are these super cute candlesticks I have a thing for candlesticks guys these actually came from Big Lots, if you can believe it. They have a really, really cool um, home section now in Big Lots. Uh, it's by Broyhill, um, the furniture company. And so these pillar candle holders were $16, but they were 50% off because I bought them at the end of the season for fall last year. Next are these beautiful vases. Um, I got these from Tuesday morning. If you guys know, Tuesday morning has gone out of business, is going out of business. I'm not sure if all of them are closed now, but I purchased these before they went out of business. They were $7.99 each. Could not pass them up. I mean, like for real. Where do you get a vase that hefty, that beautiful for $8? So I grabbed two of them. On my list of things that I absolutely wanted this year was a wall pocket. I've seen other influencers style these, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna grab one, and then I saw this one at Kirkland's that's basically black, so you guys know how I feel about aesthetic things. Um, I love this basket. Try not to knock it over as I'm showing it to you. Um, it was $34.99, but again, I had a coupon, so it was, I believe, 40% off at the time that I purchased it. Um, and it's great, can't wait to put it on my hall tree. Next are some items for my dining room table. Um, I love these pretty little um, table, what do you call them, like placemats, I guess, um, from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're kind of a like uh, uh, woven uh, material, but I love the sweet little kind of folds on the edge. They're just really cute to me. Um, these, I believe, were $4.99 each, and they were 40% off, so I bought six. And then last but not least is this great little apple orchard can. Um, it looks super old, but it's not. I got this also from Michael's. Um, I believe it was $9.99, but it was 50% off because it was the end of the season. So that is you know, brings my haul to a close. And next I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I plan to style all of these items in my home. So first you have this shot of our living room. Uh, I have these tall vases as well. These also came from Tuesday morning uh, before they closed. And I had some really nice aesthetic flowers in these. I guess you could call them fall, but I've had them out for quite some time. Um, but as you can see, some of my white and black pumpkins I moved over here. The cute little fall market sign made it over here as well. And so I'm kind of starting slowly, right, to bring in some of this fall decor. Gives you a cute little close look. I love the gold and the pumpkin with the wood of the fall market sign. They go together really, really well. Um, and I just think that it brings a cute um, idea and then as you can see how tall these really milk jug style vases are um, these are some hops plants as well as some geophysilia um, these plants came from Kirkland's and so as you can see I moved over to the other side I've got those 
um, the sweater pumpkin with one of the wooden pumpkins that I purchased um, styled together black to white and I love the contrast of the color of the two of those together and then again another one of these tall milk jug style vases with the hops and the like orangey gold geophysilia in that as well. Next, we're moving into our kitchen, which is one of my favorite sections of our house. And as you can see, I've brought in the copper salt and pepper shakers, um, along with the copper um, napkin holder, a couple of those coasters to raise up our, um, our Google Home uh, here on this little wood um, coaster, which has been here for a while. And then I brought in one of the hops plants in one of those oak vases for the window. I love the idea of displaying a plant in the window um, to just give a really homey feel to the kitchen. Here's another little vignette in our kitchen. Um, these sweet little pie dishes came from Vintage Market Days from a booth called Lady Cambria. Absolutely love them. And so I've paired them here with the sweet apple orchard bucket and some other um, faux florals that I already had on hand. I love being able to just reuse items, you know, in other vignettes in our home when it's appropriate. So I just really love how this vignette turned out. Um, the cutting board in the background is also from Vintage Market Days. Just a quick shot of that other hops plant in the second kitchen window. As you can see now, this is our hall tree in our foyer, and this is where I ended up styling the wall pocket, um, as well as the Hello Fall sign, one of my vases from Kirkland's, and that cute little mushroom style tray. I love, absolutely love how this turned out. Um, I had seen a picture on Pinterest that was a little bit similar to this. I believe that they also maybe had like a uh, scarf or a blanket hanging and I may do that later on as we get closer to the fall season but as you can see I pulled out some um, great little florals that have kind of a muted fall style color and then um, I just have one of those green G facilia uh, plants in our blue and ivory vase and I absolutely love how the sign turned out. This is the other side of our foyer right near our front door. And as you can see, I have my books styled here along with the other vase, those hops plants, one of the stainless steel trays. And then I used one of the um, dot coasters as a little uh, tray for my Inglenook and Company candle. This bourbon apple candle smells absolutely amazing. You can smell it even when you're not burning it, which is phenomenal to me. This vignette is actually in the dining room um, up against the wall, and I love how this turned out. So this table we actually had made for us last year before we even moved into our home. Um, it matches our wall tree, um, but as you can see, it is housing those candlesticks that I showed you, the vases that came from Tuesday morning, some of my dried florals, as well as the other geophysilia um, that came from Kirkland's and from the hearth and hand line. This beautiful little uh, kind of vase is from uh, the Vintage Market Days last year. This basket here holds our um, pictures from our wedding. Um, another one of those stainless steel trays here that I have. And this cute little blanket ladder as well as the two sets of large um, uh, uh, wraps basically or, or uh, you know, garland, I guess you would call them wooden garland, um, come from vintage market days as well. And so I just love how this whole little section came together and it's such a vibe here. This beautiful photograph of our house was actually gifted to us from our builder. Um, and I just think it's a really, really sweet way to kind of showcase um, our brand new space and how much we are getting adjusted to living and loving being here. 
Another cute little vignette off to the side is the Spoiled Dog Lives Here sign, as well as some of our um, faux fern florals in this cute little um, like milk jug vase built from Vintage Market Days. And now to the piece de resistance, as they say. Are you dying? Are you dying? I'm dying, friends. Look how beautiful this dining room table turned out. I, uh, even better in my mind, all the pictures I saw on Pinterest, it is phenomenal. So I started with that beautiful cream runner in the center of the table, added the placemats, the chargers, and the napkins, stuck in the glasses, and then finally I took my beautiful dough bowl that I have from Vintage Market Days last year that I purchased, and I saw a beautiful Pinterest post of filling a dough bowl with florals and with like pumpkins and other things, and I was like, I can do that. I can totally do that, and I absolutely love how this turned out. Now, in the pictures that I've seen and other posts that I've seen, people were not using just aesthetic colored pumpkins, right? They were using real pumpkins, orange pumpkins, yellow pumpkins, gourds, all kinds of things. But for me, I just love how I can take something that I see and turn it into something that I love because it matches my style. This next little vignette is on our kitchen island. Has started first with this great little sign, do everything for the glory of God. I believe I bought that from Big Lots a few years ago. And I have this beautiful black bowl, as well as the gold candelabra that both came from Decor Steels. Remember I told you I was gonna keep on shouting them out. Um, in the center there, I have one of those aesthetic black pumpkins from Kirkland's some beautiful green faux pears from Target, and all of this is anchored on a cutting board also from Target. Moving right along into our master bedroom, you can see that I added a few more of those hops plants into actually a copper pitcher that I have on my dresser, along with that Hello Fall sign on top of my jewelry boxes. Those jewelry boxes are part of the Hearth and Hand by Magnolia collection at Target. Got some boxes here that I've styled from Tuesday morning on the dresser as well. Last but certainly not least is this beautiful mirrored vignette we have on the opposite wall in our master bedroom. Um, this great little footstool as well as the crock both came from Vintage Market Days this year. I've got some beautiful ball plants in that as well. Those giant candlesticks also from Vintage Market Days anchored by this mirror that I found on clearance for $20 from Kirkland's. Well, friends, I hope that you enjoyed that sneak peek into our early fall decor and how we're currently styling our home. We hope to see you back at the channel real soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.